Hey everyone, it's that time again, time for another episode, and pretty much uh, doing the same exact, uh, same thing today as I was last week. Actually, I filmed this as only like a, I think it's like three days after I filmed the last video. So, you're probably going to see some of my old uh, footprints in the snow from last video. <laughs> but, uh... I'm going to do basically the same thing today, just go after brown trout and just going to use a little bit different lure today, just try it out color wise, it's a painted one this time and if that don't work, switch back to what we know, but um, that's about it, so let's see what happens. Alright, just walking up to the stream here, it's about... 10 degrees less than it was the other day when I was filming in the last episode but the air is pretty much dead still today and actually the sun's out quite a bit more than it was so it's actually much more pleasant today than it was in the last video because there was about a 10 15 mile an hour wind pretty much coming right at my face the entire time so, as you can imagine, that was not as fun. I'm just kind of walking up to the stream here. One thing I noticed about this time of year, um, for some reason, the water is quite a bit more clouded than it really, than I've seen it in the summertime. So, I don't really know what that's about. It probably has something to do with the snow we've had, but it's also been kind of helping me um, probably camouflage myself a little better and so the trout can't really see me as well which is always a plus so just gonna see what happens this lure looks really good in the water though you know I usually use shiny blades like a gold and a silver um, but I figured I want to try a painted one out today for a little bit first and see what happens there because I know painted ones work really well too. <laughs> of course, the, the spinner baits I always use are Panther Martins. Just my tried and true favorite ones to use. So we're just going to See if anybody's home today. It's actually a perfect day for it too because there's no wind and it's just bluebird sunny out. So that'll help, hopefully. That'll help with the fish waking up. It's a little probably a little bit early. It's about noon, quarter to noon right now. So I'm thinking here in the next 15 minutes to an hour we'll start to really see them wake up a little more it takes them a little bit this time of year uh, especially considering last night it was about negative like 14 or 15 that's actual temp that's not uh wind chill <laughs> so pretty nasty pretty nasty just kind of Casting by the bank here. A little pool up here. See, so I'm a little hand warmer here. These work great for this kind of weather. They actually warm your hand up a little faster, I think, than actual gloves. But, yeah, they can't really use gloves when I'm using this rod because it's just impossible. Oh, no. Oh, I thought that was a fish. It's just a little stick. First fish was a stick trout. One thing, yeah, definitely look for like slower moving pools. 
So I got one right in front of me, I'm just pitching. There isn't really any sun on it, but I still cast them anyways. <laughs> you know, you never know. Oh, I got one. There we go. Hey, look at that. Oh, nope. He's off. That looked like it might have been a little rainbow. Yeah, going after the painted lure in this little spot here. Very cool. All right, that's the first, first take at least. Nice. Big fan of that. Don't normally get them up here. Like I said, it's a little bit slower moving water. So, you know, always make sure to check that out. You never know. Very cool. I'll take that. Oh, there's one again. Ah, two bites. Two bites, he might be there still. So that was my two misses. So maybe that means I'll get a fish this time. <laughs> he was a small one. They're usually, you know, six to eight inches, maybe 10 inch trout around here. Usually, for the most part, they're pretty small through this section, but it's always good to check. Yeah, he's probably gone now. <laughs> That's the other thing, too. You know, when you get a trout, you get one to bite, or if, you know, you catch one, usually that hole is going to be compromised. It's always good to check, at least, but for the most part, you're probably not going to see him again. I'll do like three or four more casts right here because I think he just took took another look. So he's a curious, curious little guy. Definitely a small one. Let's see here. Oh, I think I just saw him again. Come on, buddy. There he is. <laughs> ah, that's cool. Little one, but... <laughs> nice. Very nice little fish here. In there. Cool. I worked at that one. <laughs> That's awesome. Took me a, a few tries, but we got them. So there's one more little hole here I want to try. Now that I got him to bite. That's good. If I'm getting little bites up here, in this section that makes me feel good about down further where the fishing's a little more <laughs> active so i might have the right color on another little spot here i always do one upstream but for the most part for the most casts i'm going to cast downstream on this particular creek uh, you know, I've tried both ways of fishing here and, and downstream fishing just seems to work a little more effective in this particular stream. Downstream or across stream fishing just, just seems to work good. So, 
Yeah, that's why you guys see me fish that way most of the time. There we go. Nice. Decent, another smaller brown. Ah. Another little guy, he's a little bigger. There you go. Not a bad fish at all. See, dude, <laughs> and this is why you have boots on. I didn't get any water. In it. <sighs> oh, stupid ice. Stupid ice on the banks. <laughs> Caught a fish, and also one for the blooper reel. <laughs> oh. I think I got a leaf. I do. How did I get that? Wow. Oh. That's not cool, man. Oh, another big one. Oh. Yep. That's a beast. Another beast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's angry. Hell, this my drag up. Oh, he might be just as big as the one the other day. Oh, my gosh. What is happening right now? No, he's not quite as big, but he is beautiful. Oh, oh, this is, oh my gosh, you guys. Look at the spots on this one. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, he might be. Oh, how in the world? Man, I'm telling you guys, there's some magic going on. There's some magical stuff happening. Oh, what a fish. What a fish. Look at that thing. What a beast. What a beast. Look at that head. Sheesh. I can't believe it. Let him go. There he goes. <laughs> another one. Another one over 20. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. <sighs> yeah. That right there is what it's about, folks. <laughs> <laughs>